Well, with housing costs through the roof here in the Bay Area, some people are downsizing in a serious way to be able to afford to live here. They're renting out sleeping pods that have been set up inside a home in Palo Alto. A company called Brownstone Shared Housing converted that home into a communal living space with 14 separate pods, each one with its own bed, lights, folding desk, and clothing rack. The $800 a month rent does include utilities and internet access. For more on this concept, we're joined now by the co-founders of Brownstone Shared Housing, James Stallworth and Christina Lennox. Appreciate both of you coming on today. Uh, James, why don't we start with you here? Why, why do you think this is a good deal for folks here in the Bay Area, spending $800 a month and, and all you get is a, a bed and a, and a small pod? Well, you get a lot more than that. You also get a community and also um, just use of the entire house. And we kind of set it up to accommodate that many people. But in general, the best deal is that it's a place to live near where you need to work or study. And in Palo Alto, there just simply aren't places to do that. All right, so Christina, I, I know that both of you uh, live, live in pods in the home in Palo Alto. Uh, who, who else is living there? Who, who has been attracted to this concept here? And, and what is it like actually staying in one of these pods? Yeah, so we have people in their early 20s and uh, mid 30s living with us. And uh, they range from uh, students at Stanford, um, teachers and culinary interns and um, some people at Tesla. And um, we, yes, we sleep in our pods and um, it's kind of no different than just living with a bunch of people, um, sharing communal spaces. And then uh, basically the pods are our uh, way of having some privacy and um, spending our uh, time by ourselves. And um, yeah, just having a place to sleep. It's basically like a, a bed with walls, let's say. Uh, James, uh, you know, kind of uh, real world uh, kind of setup here. It's, it's kind of what it feels like. I, I imagine when you have 14 people uh, all living in the same house together under one roof, you, you need to have some ground rules in place to make sure that folks get along. What, what, what kind of rules are, are there to, to make sure that uh, people can cohabitate? Yeah, so the basic rule is to just respect everyone else. And if everyone does that, then it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we couldn't list enough rules to accommodate for what could possibly happen. So really, as long as everyone follows that main golden rule of respecting others, for example, if you clean up after yourself, it doesn't matter how many people are in the house, whether it's you or 13 other people, as long as you clean up after yourself, the house will be clean. And that kind of carries over throughout anything that you can imagine. Uh, Christina, I, I know this is a concept that, that is getting a lot of interest from uh, around the Bay Area and, and beyond. And I know there, are, there was some talk about uh, expanding and, and, you know, creating these uh, uh, sleeping pods in, in homes in other places here. Um, what kind of interest are, are you getting and, and how do you plan on sort of scaling this idea up? Um, yeah, so we have a lot of landlords reaching out to us right now. And um, they're actually very interested in putting... Um, these pods inside of their houses. And they actually do care about um, students and people like us who uh, can't really afford the Bay Area. Um, and they're interested in helping us out and opening up their houses for us. Um, so the plans of expansion um, are basically expanded within California and then take this concept to the rest of the nation. Uh, James, before we wrap up, I mean, do you do you think and believe that this concept really, really can help to make a dent in, in the Bay Area's shortage of housing? Yeah, I think there's all sorts of solutions that are needed. But for the types of people who need our housing, um, we think that that takes pressure, not just from the Bay Area, but for other places where people might be commuting in and doing kind of their own version of this at a smaller scale that costs more and is probably less comfortable. For example, let's say three people splitting a studio in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, so we think it helps in that sense as well. All right, appreciate both of you coming on today to talk about the idea, fascinating uh, concept here, the sleeping pods from Brownstone Shared Housing, James Stallworth and Christina Lennox. Best of luck, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.